Well, I first found out while I was studying for finals, and I got a phone call from someone down at one goal, and they told me that I had a possibility of being mentioned in the president's speech, and I didn't know what was going on at first. It was kind of surreal. Well, my siblings are never really impressed with anything I do, so <laughs> of course they just kind of pushed it aside like nothing ever happened. And my friends, um, they didn't know at first until my one goal teacher shared with them that this had happened because I was trying to keep it quiet, like this never happened, I don't want no this attention. Yeah, my grades are good right now. I'm all A's and B's um, with an 18 credit hour course load with all science and math classes. And so I'm proud of myself for doing the work, but like I said, not, none of it would have been possible without the things I learned in One Goal and the things that helped me develop as a student. Uh, One Goal is a non-for-profit um, non organization that help underperforming students who don't think they're capable of achieving college, like it seems too much of a fantasy for them. Well, before One Goal, um, I didn't really care much for high school. I just thought it was something I had to do. And so I went through it with the bare minimum. Um, C's and D's, I got in trouble with the teachers. I wasn't a good student at all until one of my teachers from freshman year, Andrew Stricker, reached out to me because he thought I had a potential in me to be something better. And um, I was able to raise my GPA by over a point. Um, Taking AP classes that I never thought I'd be able to take, being motivated to actually sit down and read and study, um, improving my ACT score by eight points. I mean, one goal just taught me about being a better student and being a better person.